My name's Mick Fidock. I'm employed here as the Structures Form, Structures Superintendent. What we're doing is we're putting up tower crane number two. Uh, behind us we've got tower crane number three and on the left-hand abutment we've got tower crane number one. We're just busily trying to get up tower crane number two so we can actually make some space so we can do a concrete pour tomorrow on the intake tower that's directly behind us. There's probably about 15 semi-trailers. We actually build a, a base for the tower crane to sit on. We stress the base, we put a bottom section on, we stress it all up. Then we actually load all of the tower sections. We then put on the machine deck, front and back, um, some counterweights, and then install the boom. It sounds very easy when you talk about it like that, but it probably takes two, two days. I've uh, been working in probably large commercial for probably 25 years. Been in the building industry for probably 40 years. Bit of an adrenaline rush doing different things. Large concrete pours are, are sort of special. Um, not everyone puts up tower cranes. Generally we try to build as much on the ground and put it up in large sections where possible. We put them up together in, in as manageable pieces as the crane's capable of lifting and then what we do is we lift them up in sections. This um, tower crane number two is a bit different to tower crane number one is that we're using a 300 tonner but then we're going to have to climb the crane for the last four tower sections. So whereas all the other cranes we've actually um, put up full, full height in one go. The blue section up there is the frame, the climbing frame to put the tower sections in. So what will happen is that it will climb up and lock into a position, then we'll push it up, pick up a tower section, slide it in, lock it off and then the climbing frame will climb again. It takes about an hour to climb one section of tower crane. There's a fairly large walk down to get to the base and then there's a fairly large climb up to get into the tower crane. Um, generally the guys take whatever water, lunch, pretty well anything they need to go so they can stay up there the majority of the day. Um, it doesn't come with any toilets so generally the guys go to the loo before they get up there and then cross their legs. Even, even back when I was doing second storage extensions, I still drive past suburbs and say, oh, I put that Cape Cod up. So it's, it probably is something like that. It's good to be able to drive past something and say, oh, I did that. <laughs> 